phenomenal book. It can totally rock your real estate career. And what I'm going to share with you on this video is I'm going to suggest you make your one thing aerial photos. If you'll do that, you'll never be short on listings, buyers, or closings again. If you're not looking for expired listings where the previous agent didn't use aerial photos, yet should have, you're missing out on the best marketing strategy in today's real estate. That first photo is so important. Why is it important? Well, all buyers are looking either on their cell phone, their tablets, their laptop, or their desktop. They're putting their parameters in and they see one photo. If that photo doesn't grab their attention, then you possibly lost the buyer and the sale. They may never look at the rest of the photos. Let me show you what it looks like. This is what a search looks like on Zillow.com. And you notice all these homes, each one of these should have had the first photo as an aerial photo. Why? Because they would have stood out. They, they stand out so much better. Imagine if one of those was an aerial photo. That one stands out. This is what a search looks like on Realtor.com. Same thing, you see one photo, and it doesn't matter if you're on Zillow.com, Realtor.com, Remax, Keller Williams, Cobalt Banker, Century 21, it makes no difference. All you see is one photo. That first photo is so important. I'm gonna share with you how I've used this in recent years and how you can use it. Photos on the left will be the first photo the previous agent used, and then it expired. I noticed it didn't have an aerial photo. I got in touch with the seller, showed him that first photo, him or her or both of them, let them know how powerful that first photo is and that when they listed with us, we were gonna get a drone up in the air and make that first photo be an aerial photo and they would get more showings. Sellers get that. Now, I show you a drone, but keep in mind, you guys don't have to go out and buy one. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't because we can't take our own drone photos. You need to use an FAA approved drone operator. But look at that first photo on the left, first photo on the right. Which one's going to get more attention? Same with this home. Photo on the left was a previous agent. It was $2.5 million. And I did not blur that photo. That was a top agent in Cincinnati area. He had that home listed using that photo as the first photo. Met with the seller, let him know we'd use an aerial photo on the right, what we used as the first photo. Same with this one, photo on the left, which is a really good crisp photo, but it doesn't even show the entire house. That house was on five acres. It was over $3 million. Met with the seller, let him know about the first photo that when they list with us, we get a drone up in the air. Photo on the right is what we use after we listed that home. Same with this one. This was an old home on 140 acres. It actually had two homes, 10 acre lake, Previous agent who had it listed over two years, he was a top agent in the Cincinnati area, used that photo on the left as the first photo. Did what I needed to do to meet with the seller. When I did, I shared that photo, showed what the previous agent used, let him know we get it thrown up in the air. She listed with us. Photo on the left was the previous agents and I did not put that white in around the photo. That is the actual first photo the previous listing agent used. And that particular property happened to be a mini farm with a couple barns and a pond. Now somebody that's looking for a mini farm is not gonna be attracted to that photo the previous agent used. When you meet with these sellers of expired homes and you let them know the importance of the first photo, they get it. I'm telling you, they just get it. Here's another one. This house, home on the left, was a previous agent's photo. This was actually listed four times, four different times by four different agents, four companies. None of them used an aerial photo. So made the appointment, got with the seller, showed them those first photos, let them know when they list with us, we're going to get it thrown up in the air. Now, what I hear from a lot of agents, I've been licensed for 25 years. I'm licensed in Ohio and Kentucky. I no longer sell. I coach realtors now. And what I hear from realtors I coach who are thinking about coaching me, oh, Jim, that's great, but we don't have many expires in our market. Now, in the last year and a half that I've been coaching, I've been on over 90 different MLSs around the country, all over the country. 
haven't found one yet without a plethora of expires. Uh, if you're one of those agents who thinks you don't have expires, please shoot me an email, Facebook message, give me a call. I'll gladly set up 10 or 15 minutes. We'll get on your MLS over a Zoom call. And I'll do that at no cost to you and show you how many expires you got. I think I told you who I was, Jim McCord. I sold for 25 years. And uh, my first 15 years, I actually sold the convention away. Phone calling, the door knocking, the farming. I spent a fortune mailing to my farm. And did that work? Oh, it did. Same with the cold phone calls and the door knocks. But you got to do so much of it. And 10 years ago, I discovered a much better system. Put it down in this book. I've been using it for 10 years. This book has sold over 15,000 copies. You can get it on Amazon for $9.95. And I coach realtors now. I'd love to talk to you about coaching. There's my information. Please visit my website at revolutioninrealestate.com. It is not a drip site, so you don't have to go there and give me your email, and then I'm going to hound you. No. There's about 20 free videos on there. You can do all the research you want. I'd love to talk to you. Start using aerial photography for expired listings. Your business will take off. You guys have a great day. I look forward to hearing from you.